we are chicken people. <laughs> Reverend Dr. Quabana Darko may call himself a chicken man, but his name is a household word across the country of Ghana. It's just so beautiful to view the chicks. His love for poultry and for farming began as a young child. You know, when I bought the machines here first, I slept in this room for 24 hours. As founder of Darko Farms, his success brought him fame, but his story begins a far cry from the life of kings. Well, daddy died when we were kids, so you can imagine mom was looking up to me as more like uh, the leader in the house. At a young age, Dr. Darko learned to fight poverty from his mother, a dressmaker who would sew late through the night and rise early to wake the children. I remember I saw mom sewing up to about 2 a.m. in the morning, and she waked us up by 4 a.m., which means she slept for only two hours. And during the day too, she would go to the market and sell the produce that she's produced. That's what we call now micro enterprise. These business principles were reinforced when a visiting missionary left his new stepfather a book on raising poultry. My stepfather didn't read it. I read the whole book, and then I got to know about poetry very well. The missionary went, and then he sent my stepfather a gift of 100 deo chicks. Because he understood how to raise chicks, Dr. Darko established Ghana's first chicken farm, right in his stepfather's backyard. And when the bird started laying, I was actually typically I was selling the eggs. My passion for it was so great that I, I, I even sometimes want to sleep with a chicken. <laughs> it became my life, my everything. After studying abroad, Dr. Darko soon decided that he needed to go out on his own, a decision that led to his first not-so-pleasant experience with microfinance. He was turned away for a loan. I said, I raised chicken. And the man looked at me and said, you raised chicken? At that time, people didn't value chick, uh, agriculture. All that they valued was, you either be a lawyer, you either be a doctor, but using your hands to till the ground to produce food, they think anybody can do that. With persistence, young Dr. Darko finally reached the bank manager and acquired his first loan that bought 900 chicks. And in April of 1966, Darko Farms and Company was founded. This is the first big Al Whitaker of Opportunity International came with a vision to help entrepreneurs in other countries. His idea was that he wanted to affect a farm to be able to produce food to feed his own people. He saw this possibility through Ghana's first chicken farmer. They are one of my greatest mentors I've ever met because they just told me, Darko, it's possible. Opportunity International flew Dr. Darko to the United States, from Washington to Iowa, Illinois, and Kentucky, where he even met Colonel Sanders. Dr. Darko was able to dream beyond his chicken farm. Having seen it myself, I realized that, oh, the sky is my limit. I'm the largest producer of chicken and baby chicks in this country because somebody cares. <laughs> With over 2,000 acres of farm, Dr. Darko and wife Christiana enjoy four children and 11 grandchildren. He inspired the vision of Al Whitaker to provide loans and opportunities for micro-entrepreneurs throughout the world, but says he will never forget his past. So they are hatching, they are picking up, you can see us, we're coming. Oh, another one here. 
if your mother had to be a widow so strong enough to be able to work and feed five children, it was an easy thing. I could see God's miracle in action in every way.